Hello and welcome to Vault Hunters. Oh dear. <laughs> That's how you know we're in a mod pack. If you don't know what the mod pack Vault Hunters is, it is basically a mod pack created by the one and only Iskal85. And he recently started a series over on his channel playing his own mod pack. And when I started watching that series, well, it kind of made me wanting to play it as well. So here we are. I will leave a link to Iskal series down below in the description if you're interested in checking that out, as well as a link for the mod pack as well. My friend British Widow also recently just started a series on this mod pack, and I'm really enjoying that too, so if you're interested in checking that out as well, there's a link down below in the description. But to sum up the Vault Hunters mod pack, if you don't know it really quickly, basically you hunt vaults. You hunt vaults in order to get more skill points. Skill points which you use to level up your character in, a, in unlocking abilities and talents. Abilities such as the very well-known Vein Miner. Yep. Of which, by the way, these abilities and such have levels so you can upgrade them. So it's not just a one type thing. You actually upgrade them so you need, yeah, a lot of skill points. But you also use your skill points and talents. Stuff like Torger. Basically, unlimited bone meal and many, many more. Fix my wall real quick. Better. But you don't just hunt vaults in order to get skill points. You also hunt them in order to get loot and in the overall goal of getting 25 unique artifacts in order to unlock the final vault. But I, I don't even know anything about that. That's just what I read. This mod pack also features a bunch of different other well-known mods such as Create, Thermal Expansion, Immersive Engineering, Jetpacks, Building Gadgets, Mining Gadgets, More Chests, Drawers, Refined Storage, Applied Energistics, and the list goes on. But in order to unlock these, you need to research it. And guess what? You need stuff from the vaults in order to research it. So the vaults are the core of the mud pack. They're, they're, the main, they're the main thing. You hunt them. AKY it's called Vault Hunters. Now some things are a little bit different. As you can see, I am in full iron armor right now, yet it only shows four of these. Yeah, armor is a lot more weak in this mod pack. There are also other interesting things, such as being able to pick up villagers. Very, very handy. So yeah, overall, this mod pack is quite unique and I am all for it. Now, as you can see here, I have already done some progress and this is just really to speed things up so we can get right into work. I've done a few things, but I'll sum them up because I do have some footage from it. I spawned in, I started mining, I got the vein miner skill. I went down mining a little bit more. Eventually, I then found a village, which is where I got these three fellas from. I also looted a blacksmith, which had seven obsidian, which is really, really cool. I then later found a dungeon, which had a golden apple. And then I decided to start walking in a direction to find a suitable place to call home. And then I found this ice spikes biome. And I saw that and I was like, you know what? That can be a very, very cool looking home. So I took it. So I set up some simple chests for some early sorting. Not much in them though. And in fact, not much sorting going on here either. Set up my furnaces that I stole from the village. I mean, that I borrowed from the village. Same with the bed. And I immediately set up a farming area because with twerker and holding down the hoe, I can just farm potatoes infinitely. And just like that, I have pretty much two sacks of potatoes extra than I did before. So yeah, infinite food pretty much. And it's also going to be very handy when we start trading with villagers. So that is pretty much my progress so far. I haven't done anything other than that. What I want to do now, I'm pretty much geared up. I have iron tools, I have some torches and some baked potatoes and everything. And I want to head over to this area right here because I discovered this and it looks like a very, very cool cave entrance. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do now. I just wanted to wait to nighttime, sleep, and then we're gonna head over there. All right, it is now dawn, and that means that we need to head out. I think I have everything that I need to go underground for an extended period of time. So let's go. Oh, wait a minute, is this? This is a crate. I, I, I knew this was not just something. I, this is a crater. This is a crater for applied energistics. Oh, that's very cool. That is very cool. I need to remember that. That's awesome. I, I thought it was a little bit weird, this. This 
is the area. As you can see, I've already been here. I placed the torch there. I kind of looked in this area over here, but I have not looked in there. It might be nothing, but, well, it might also be something. So it is time to get a bunch of stuff. Vein Miner is really going to come in handy here, and I'm going to focus on this uh, main, main part of the cave here. I'm going to have my cobblestone out as well, because, yeah, I might need to do some bridging. Rocky stones. Huh, interesting. Let's enter the cave. Now, these caves can contain, well, a lot of weird things. So, we need to be careful because they can be a little bit dangerous. And I'm not sure what mobs to expect. If it's just vanilla mobs or if it's other mobs as well. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, th I think I'm actually going to go back and get some extra pickaxes, some extra iron pickaxes. I don't have that much iron left, but I'm going to use the iron that I have to get some extra iron pickaxes because this one, using my vein miner, it's going to, I think, break pretty quickly. All right, further into the cave we go. We're going up. Don't tell me it's a dead end already. Well, um... Ah, here we go. Some more cave action. So that's where I went down earlier. Uh, oh. Well, at least there's iron. At least there's good amounts of iron here. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, dead end. But there's another end over here. Oh, I see lava on the minimap. Ooh, okay. This is perfect. And there's another cave up here, it seems. Okay, I'm starting to not get disappointed. <laughs> wow, this is a huge vein of copper. Like, seriously huge. I hear footsteps and I also hear a spider right here, so... I don't know if this cave will lead to that point, but if it doesn't... I know where to dig. I really... Okay, this is just a dead end. But there's a cave right over here somewhere and I want to get to the lava bit because what I would really like to find is maybe one of those caves with like lava pools and whatnot. I think that would be pretty cool. But so far, I've gone through almost two iron pickaxes now and we have gotten a lot of ores. We're on Y level 35. We need to get way deeper in order to get to diamond level though. All right, down to my final iron pickaxe now. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay. I'm getting somewhere now. What's this? Ooh, charged. This is from Applied Energistics as well. This is going to be very useful. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, creeper. Hello. Ooh, gold. Do not blow up that gold. I need that. I need that. Do not. Okay. Gold. That is a huge disc. Discovery. Okay. I've just found something that is quite dangerous, and I don't know if I'm gonna activate it or not. That thing right there. If I get close to that, it's gonna activate, and it's gonna basically pop out a lot of bad mobs. <laughs> Including, I believe, cave spiders, which I'm not really a fan of. More gold. Very good. Light gray shimmering mushroom. That's from Botania. I think I will be taking these because I might need them later. My inventory is also starting to get very full. And this is a lot of gold. Very, very nice. Right. Let's just activate it. Can I maybe break it? I can. I don't know why it's not activating yet. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yep. Witch and zombies and I believe cave spiders as well here. Yep, and a witch. Did I mention the witch? <laughs> oh wait, they can come up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Bad. There we go. Right. Oh. oh, that actually hit me? Are you kidding me? Ow. Aha. Take that. Uh-oh, go back. <laughs> Two hearts. She's gonna keep healing and I don't have a bow. <laughs> to you too. Not gonna lie, this witch is being a little bit of a problem. 
very big of a problem, actually. Okay, I'm gonna block this off real quick, because I don't need a zombie attacking me right now. <laughs> uh, hmm. Me hitting these zombies have attracted some unwanted attention, it would seem. Come on. Almost. Almost had her. Finally. She got a last potion in there. But finally. That was a little bit... Stressful. <laughs> right, I think that's a good place for me to actually... Take down this wall. Take down this. And I'm gonna set up a little bit of a base of operations here. Because I am really running out of room in my inventory. Now there are a bunch of zombies, I think, above me. Which I would like to get rid of. The caving experience was very peaceful before, but now it is extremely stressful. Because I don't know where the zombies are, nor where they're going to attack from. I feel like they are up here though. This cave leads even further down, which is where I really want to go. I'm just... Oh, hey, buddy. I'm just paranoid of the zombies. Oh, hello. Hey, fella. Uh-oh. Ow. <laughs> hey, skeleton. I need to remember, even though I have iron armor, my armor is equal to nothing. Oh, hi, you found me. Oh, I got horse armor. So some of the mobs from those weird uh, spawners. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bad. They basically give me some other loot as well. Uh-oh. Bad. Bad. Very bad. Very bad. <sighs> it does sound like, though, that perhaps the zombies have despawned. Sinbar ore. Very interesting. And my pickaxe. Just broke right when I have some more gold ores. Okay, I am actually very close to my forward operating base. No, now I am. I guess now is a really good time for me to explain why I need some of these resources. Why I'm so excited about getting gold and getting so obsessed about getting diamonds. And that is because of these two items right here. Firstly, when you're inside a vault, you don't regenerate your health. And this mod pack has changed the way you get stuff like healing potions and golden apples. Golden apples are now very expensive to make. But not only that, in order to make a healing potion, you now, or an instant health potion, you need to use a golden apple to get that potion of healing. So that is why gold is such an important resource to get a lot of. But one of the reasons why we also want to be at diamond level is because we want to get this vault rock, because this is basically the key to getting a vault. We need to use this vault rock in a vault altar in order to get a vault key, vault crystal, sorry. And that crystal then gets used in a polo frame and then, and then boom, we have our vault. But we need to use this vault rock in the vault altar and to make the vault altar, we need Yep, a block of diamond. So that's that's fun. I already have the obsidian, but we also need the purple blocks, which means we need to go to the end. So yeah, we need to do a bunch of progress before we can start hunting our very first vault. So that is why we are down here in the first place. Whoa, I did not see those fellas. Hey, buddies. <laughs> oh boy. Dimensional Shard Ore. Hmm, sounds important. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. All right, why level 13? Oh boy. Yeah, you gotta be careful with Vein Miner. <laughs> One underground near the lava. Um, One wrong block mined. And it could be your doom. I also do have my water bucket, which I should probably place here. In case of emergencies. Unfortunately though, so far, I'm not seeing much diamond activity. Oh boy. Ow. Gotta be really careful around this stuff. You are a hazard. It's also easy to think that this or this is diamonds, but it's not. Or that for that matter. I really hope I'm not gonna be editing this and then see all of the diamonds that I missed. <laughs> Uh, 
That could be interesting. I can't believe I haven't found diamonds yet. This is as deep as I've been so far and nothing. I'm back to where we started. No diamonds at all. Right, here is what I think I will do. We've been caving for a very long time and we now have and we now have many resources back here at wait, that's not it. Back here at the forward operating base. So, what I think I will do is I will put my stuff away. And I will sort out what I'm gonna bring home with me. And I think this is it. And then what I'm gonna do... Well, I'm gonna smelt some iron real quick. And then I'm gonna dig straight up to the first surface. That way we will have we can have a mine shaft going directly down to this cave. So we can get access easily to the rest of the ores. And I don't have to navigate my way through these weird tunnels. So I think right here I will dig straight up as best as I can. I can use this cobblestone to build my way back up. And then I can just simply jump straight down into the hole. Now I just gotta get back to the surface. Uh oh. Whew. Okay. Usually I don't have that problem and now the water is gone. Of course. Of course the water is gone. Imagine I died now. Not to any of the fighting. No to falling. Nope. Nope. Whew. That was close. That was close. And there's the surface. And it does not sound friendly. Ow. What? Ice blazes. Little zombies. Strays. Okay. Okay. This biome is not very friendly. Uh oh. Hey, f hey guys. Hey guys. Oh, I actually got hit with slowness. That's why I'm slow. Uh oh. Uh, my home should be secure though. Yep, there's my staircase. Go up. Yep. And just because I'm paranoid. Okay. Yeah. Let me sleep real quick. All right. That was a very successful. It was a very successful mining trip. But. I unfortunately did not get one of the main things that I went down there for. But we still got a lot of different resources though, which is what is important. Oh, oh hey fella, mm -mm. nope. Nah. Oh, there's two of them. There was an ambush, there was a trap all along. Here's what I wanna do now. I wanna grab a water bucket, grab more wood, then I wanna grab some more food, Smelt some more iron, make extra pickaxes, and I'm gonna head back to that hole. And I'm not coming out of it until I have the diamonds that I need. Now what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to extend this hole all the way down to the correct Y level that I want it to be so we can find some diamonds and also these vault rocks. And I'll be back when I have some progress to show you because branch mining is just going to be a bit boring to watch and I think I've shown plenty of mining so far on camera. So I'll be back when I have some progress to show you. I've done progress. So as you can probably see by these waypoints, I have been just a little bit busy. So first things first, I have extended this hole, so now it has a ladder, but also a pit to fall into. Boom. There's something up there that I need to show you, but first let's go down here, because I finally, finally managed to find diamonds. But I've found other stuff as well. Stuff that is really, really important for our progression. And that is this. I have found vault rock ores. Now, I'm not actually going to break these until we have gotten fortune on our pickaxe because we want to get as many as these as as many of these as possible. And I've actually found quite a few. I found one here, and as you can see on the okay, not on this map, but I have basically gone down very far in just one straight line here. And this is the second vault rock ore that I found. And then over here we have a third. Then we have a fourth. Then we have the fifth. And next to it, a huge pile of lovely 
looking diamonds. I am very, very excited about this. So let's finally mine these up. I'm just going to mine all of them. I'm not going to wait for fortune because we will be needing most of them. Three. And I believe this is an eight vein. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight diamonds right there. Two of them are going to be... Well, I was thinking, I was thinking enchantment table, but I'm gonna be using villages, so a pickaxe mainly, and then five for other stuff. Um, but three mainly for the diamond pickaxe, so we can get the obsidian that we need. Now this is how they look, the vault rocks, but another way you can find them is that they do glow a tiny bit. So that is one way of being able to track these guys down. So this is pretty much the mining I have done, but I have found something that looks very interesting. And I've been creeped out down here, because, let well, let me show you. You hear those sounds? Those are not vanilla mob sounds. And I have been creeped out by this while I've been mining here. Because there have been weird, like, box sounds down here, and I don't like it. But let me show you. Uh, I believe it's... I believe it's actually... Eh. Here. Yep. Right here is a huge... Yeah, that's probably one of the things I've heard. This area is a huge... Oh, there's Enderman there. It's actually a huge flat area underground here, which is looking very, very cool. I have not explored this. I've just been focusing on branch mining. But this is looking very cool, and I do not know what that thing is. But I think for now... There's another one over there. But I think for now, I'm just gonna leave this blocked up until a later date. Oh great, it's night time now. Oh dear. And this is in the space where I have the chests. I have some spare pickaxes in here. Plenty of cobbled deep slate and a few other resources as well. I guess I can take that lapis with me now. And yeah, here's the rest of the cave that we were in earlier. I've also gone ahead and pretty much made a large chest here for all of our ores and other valuables. And one thing I have done is I have added a door over here to this little cave area that was actually behind our base here. Because I think I'm gonna use this space for villager trading. I think it's gonna be a nice little area for the villagers to be in. It kind of just wraps around and then just stops and yeah, I think moving some of this stuff, putting villagers in here is gonna be quite good. So, village area right here. But let's not waste any more time. We cannot conclude this episode until I have made our diamond pickaxe. Just like that. Boom. And I think with this diamond pickaxe and all of these resources right here, I'm gonna call this an episode one. We've done some pretty good progress. We are now set to be able to do a bunch of progress in the next episode. In the next episode, I want to set up villages. I want to make a nether portal, go through the nether, see what is on the other side, potentially maybe get stuff together so we can defeat the Ender Dragon in the next, next episode. But we will have to see. We're definitely ready to kickstart this thing. But anyways, really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing and enable those notifications. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and... Goodbye.